Hello, I'm Bruce Janney, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to see if we can safely catch some raw eggs. Now, it's a little bit harder than it sounds because these eggs are going to be traveling at over 300 miles an hour. At that speed, they have enough kinetic energy to go through three quarter inch plywood, rip through metal roofing, or explode soda bottles. Because of their fragile nature, I've often used them for demonstrating impulse. I've had students design packaging that could safely catch an egg from 5 meters. We've also shown that you can't break an egg by throwing it into a loosely held bed sheet. These guys are throwing it about 75 miles an hour and still weren't able to break an egg. Now I want to go a little bit faster. I'm going to start with this small cannon. The sheet is able to catch the egg at 150 miles an hour, so let's go to a bigger cannon and see what happens at 300 miles an hour. If you look closely, you can see the egg passes right through the sheet without even breaking. I want to try this one again, but I'm going to reinforce it. Advanced drip and tear protection. Let's see if this helps. I've cut one of the bags open and attached it to the sheet. Well, the egg didn't pass through it this time, but it did break on the plastic. Okay, next up I've had several suggestions about shooting an egg straight up and then trying to catch it. Well, I'm not going to do that with my hand, but I thought maybe I'd try it with a large net. Oh. Okay, I've tried it several times and I just can't get it to land near me, so I think I'm going to move on to something else. <laughs> now this idea was actually suggested to me. It's straw in a box, but I've added some wheels to it so that when the egg hits it, it's going to roll downhill and increase the length of the impulse. But first, I have to actually hit the box. Two, one. The egg is moving so fast, it simply punches through the bottom of the box. In a previous video, we set up the cannon to measure for distance. Our longest shot was about 300 yards. That was a good shot. And when we went out to find them, of course, we found most of them broken. But surprisingly, we found one that landed in the grass that didn't break. All right. All right, well. That gave me the idea to shoot it into high grass and see if that could catch it. And after several attempts, that didn't work. I did have somebody suggest we try a water balloon. Let's see what happens. It is hard to aim a 14-foot cannon. It was also suggested shooting it into a pool of water. Just dropping it and the egg survives. Once more, this time I'll throw it as hard as I can. I guess the egg's hitting the water about 40 miles an hour, and as you can see, it didn't survive. This is something that students tested previously. We found eggs started breaking at about 20 miles an hour. I've had several suggestions of attaching a parachute to the egg to slow it down. The idea here is the egg's going to hit the balloon, pop it, it's then going to continue down into the pantyhose, stretch a little bit, which is going to drag it, pull on the parachute, which is going to open up, slow it down, and the egg's going to survive. Three, two, one. This was a single layer of pantyhose, and that didn't work. This was three layers, and it still wasn't enough to stop the egg. I tried suspending a pillow in plastic wrap, but it didn't have enough give to it, so once again, the egg broke. 
All right, now in this case, I have a nice soft pillow. So the egg's gonna come through, hit this, and then drop down onto this nice soft mattress. All right, let's watch it. One. I'm finding this assignment is a lot tougher than I'd expected for a few reasons. One possibility, the eggs I'm using are past their expiration date, so the shell might be a little bit weaker than if they were fresh. I think a big factor is the orientation of the egg. It travels down the barrel lengthwise, which is a stronger side, but then exits and immediately turns sideways. When held up in this airstream, we can see that same broadside orientation. You can see it turning as it leaves the barrel. So it hits the target with its weaker side, which is easier to break. We can see it if we watch it in slow motion. I thought I'd give trying to catch an egg another try. The small cannon should be easier to aim. Terminal velocity for a falling egg should be about 70 miles an hour, <laughs> so this shouldn't be too hard. I just have to get underneath them. While I can see them, I just can't get them going up straight enough so that I can catch them. To catch the egg in the sheet, quite a few people suggested that I have to slow it down first. The problem was trying to find a material that didn't break the egg. Many of them were inconsistent. For example, cardboard might allow it to pass through one time, and the next time I tried it, it would break. The same was true with this tarp and other materials that I tried. I finally settled on four sheets of newspaper. Any more than that, and the egg will break. All right, next up, we're gonna try and lose some of that kinetic energy in step. I have eight hoops. Each one has four pieces of paper on it. After the egg goes through all the paper, it's then gonna hit the sheet, which can then move backwards and hopefully catch the egg. 24 sheets didn't work. I'm trying it again with 56 sheets. 56 sheets still isn't enough to catch it. All right, now I have 20 rows. Each row has four sheets of newspaper. That should slow the egg down enough that back here, this sheet is gonna catch the egg, and this time it's not gonna break. <laughs> At least that's what I hope. Well, let's see what we got. Hey, look at this. It took 84 sheets of paper, but we had, oops, oops, oh. Well, it wasn't broken before I dropped it. <laughs> okay, next up I have a series of four boxes. It's 16 feet long and it's loosely packed with fiberglass insulation. Let's see if this can catch the egg. It made it past the first two boxes. All right, so it wasn't in the third box. That's a good sign. Probably hit the back end of the box. Oh, hey, oh, hi. Hey, we have a winner. <laughs> it worked. That's about, uh, would have been about right here. That would be about, uh, maybe 14 feet of insulation, finally was able to catch this egg. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I wanna try this once more. This time I have the cannon anchored. I'm also using a level to ensure that it's shooting straight up. This egg broke coming out of the barrel. One. So in addition for watching for the egg, I also need to watch where I'm going. I 
I got it. <laughs> got it. And to show you that it was real. Well, as I expected, it certainly was a lot tougher trying to safely stop the egg than it was getting it going. Now in the future, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna see if we can get it going faster by increasing the length of the air chamber and also making the barrel longer. I've also had several people ask me to compare fresh eggs to hard boiled eggs. As always, thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.